First thing I'm going to show you varies uh, depending on textbook or in teacher or instruction, but they all can mean the same thing as long as you care uh, if you pay careful attention to the definition of the letters. So if you use this notation, uh, a the number multiplying in front of your cosine dictates the amplitude of your function. So in our function, our amplitude is going to be three. It's going to go up three from its origin, down three from its origin, then repeat. The b represents any change to the uh, period of the function, which means how, many, how fast it goes before it starts repeating itself. So b in our function is just 1, so our period hasn't changed. The period of cosine is 2 pi when it's unchanged. So that means we're going to go 2 pi units, and then the graph's going to start repeating and start doing the same thing. The c represents the horizontal shift from, the, from its uh, original starting place. So doing a minus pi over 4... That means we're actually going to go pi over 4 spaces forward before we start drawing our cosine graph from the origin. And the minus 2 is a vertical shift. This tells us to go down two spaces from the origin to draw our graph. So let's start with uh, the location of our starting point. Cosine of x looks like this. Okay, When it's unchanged, it starts at positive 1, goes down to negative 1, then back up to positive 1, then repeats. Our graph goes pi over 4 spaces to the right. And so if we looked at the amplitude, the amplitude of 3 means we, uh, we can fall a total of 6 spaces from here. Because the amplitude means you're supposed to be 3 spaces up from the midline, 3 spaces down. But the midline has also been shifted because if you go back here, minus 2 means we have a, a vertical shrink of 2. So our midline, instead of being right here at 0, has been shifted down 2 spaces. Uh, so if our midline has been shifted down two spaces and our amplitude is three, that means we go up one, two, three as our highest. That puts us at positive one. And then we're going to go down two, three from the midline for our lowest point. So negative five is as low as this graph can go. And so with that information in mind, now we can uh, draw the starting plate point. Uh, it starts right here because that's pi over four spaces shifted to the right. That's what this told us to do. And then we took into account the, that the midline was shifted two spaces down and that we had an amplitude of three. So there's our midline, and three spaces up starts us at one. So that's what our graph should look like. And that we didn't have any uh, funny business with, uh, let's see, that's supposed to go down a little bit further, down to negative five, and then repeat. We didn't have any funny business with uh, shifting the period of the function, meaning how long it takes to repeat, so we didn't have to do anything with that. We've taken into account all three of those numbers, so that's a sketch of the graph.